Yeah, you know, so you're you're a couple years into you know full time trading, I guess. Now uh, you've been doing it for a few years. You, you know, you started in college. You know, what's been your uh, biggest uh, failure to date, and what's been your biggest success, and 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 how do you think you're going to stay in this game? Because you're you're relatively new to it. Uh, hopefully, you haven't seen too many big drawdowns, and and but you know you learn from these things. So yeah. tell us about tell us about some big uh, hits that you've taken in your in your short trading career. And, uh, you know, tell us what you're doing to move forward. I would say that the thing that I've learned about the market that I always try and keep with me is that whatever, however it's trading, and you know how the market will have a certain um, vibe, like either it will be a short strength market or it will be a buy dips market. Or, yep. like, I sort of have, like, a four square in my mind of either strength will beget strength and weakness will beget weakness or there will be mean reversion. And I think one of the difficulties is figuring out right when, I mean, not right, but as soon as you can, when those major kind of market forces are changing. That's a good point. I I like your matrix thought there because that's exactly the way I like to look at it. Are we in a trending up, trending down, flat market? Every day, you know, again, define your time frame that you're trading on and and put yourself into that quadrant. Because, as you said, mean reversion works a lot of times. Uh, Breakouts work. Breakdowns work at times. Right now, I would say I would agree with you. Uh, if we're below the pivot, you buy it, or if we're you know, above the pivot, you buy the pullbacks. If we're below the pivot, you sell the, the 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 bumps, and that's really where we are right now. There are no yeah today breakouts, breakdowns aren't working, and you're basically selling tops and, and buying bottoms, and you're staying within that range. And and it's a you know, but it's hard for most traders to switch when you get you, you start going into a breakout mode. It's hard to go. Oh, I was fading that, and it was you know, and, and now it's not working for me anymore. So you have to be able to recognize that quickly before you lose too much money. 